We believe we're in a recession. Uh, two consecutive quarters of real GDP declines is, is the beginning of that definition. Uh, three consecutive months of declines in leading indicators, uh, which we have now, uh, would suggest the same. Now, I think the, the differences are, we see an inverted yield curve, and that, of course, uh, is also a warning sign. I, I think our point of view is that this is going to be a severe inventory recession, but we don't. We didn't have the systemic excesses um, like we like we did uh, pre 08 09 in the mortgage market. Uh, so it's an inventory recession here. And while most economists are saying, oh, "Okay, the inverted yield curve points to a recession maybe next year," uh, we believe we'll be coming out of it next year. Now, I think the big question is what's going on in China? Chi I think some of the commodity price decline has to do with China unraveling in some sense uh, from a cyclical point of view. I mean, they're really, they've got their foot on the brake in many ways. They're trying to let it off a little bit here and there. Uh, but I don't think, I, I think that the real estate turned down in, uh, or downturn in uh, China is 30% of their economy, 75% of consumer savings. I think they're not going to be able to control it the way they thought they were. Kathy Wood has weighed in on the debate on whether the United States economy is in a recession or not, and her verdict backs the recession claim. In an interview with Bloomberg TV, the fund manager said that she and her team at ARK Invest believe that the U.S. has entered a recession. Hello and welcome to Money Talks. In today's video, ARK Invest CEO and CIO Kathy Wood updates about Bitcoin, inflation, current situation of the economy, and her thoughts on Coinbase. She also updates about Fed's monetary policies and rising interest rates, along with the most recent price performance of her flagship fund, ARK Invest. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video where Kathy Wood shares her future outlook for cryptocurrencies and Tesla. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into the video. Uh, we're getting all kinds of signals that the economy is very weak. I know a lot of people are uh, focusing on last week's uh, big employment gain in non-farm payrolls, but if you look at household employment, which is a much broader based survey of employment, uh, that has been uh, flat to down for the last four months. If you look at claims, we've never seen a faster increase uh, off the bottom than we've just seen. We're up about, uh, roughly 50% from the lows. Many people, uh, I don't think, have taken a close look at that. And we're getting, I mean, we're hearing one layer af, af, lay off after another. And uh, we know Challenger, the Sur Challenger survey says that layoffs are up 55 to 60% year over year. Uh, and I think this is all related to inventories. We have a massive mm. inventory glut massive inventory clut. And so uh, I think that the last few hires, you know, I think companies were really ha happy to get them because labor was in short supply for so long. Uh, but I think, I, I think that um, now there's we're an inventory going to be unwinding. While many have argued that the U.S. employment numbers do not hint at a recession, even though the GDP has declined for two consecutive quarters, Kathy Wood disagrees. We're getting all kinds of signals that the economy is very weak. I know a lot of people are focusing on last week's big employment gain and non-farm payroll, but if you look at household employment, a much broader survey, that has been flat down in the last four months. She said, The non-farm payrolls in the U.S. increased by 528,000 jobs last month, the Labor Department said in its closely watched employment report Friday. Uh, now, the CPI and to some measure, in some measure, the PPI, both of those are lagging indicators. The Fed is driving policy off of lagging indicators. If I look at uh, Dr. Copper, the commodity with the PhD, uh, it had been trading for a year in the four to five dollar per pound range. It's now down to 350. Uh, it's had a decisive break. And if you look at how that's going to feed into the indexes, it'll feed in slowly to be sure. Uh, but just month over month, copper is down tw roughly 20% and year over year. It's 
down roughly 20%. Mm -hmm. So that's the activity side of things. If you look at the real inflation gauge out there, it's gold. Gold prices peaked in August of 2020, two years ago. And we've been in a trading range, to be sure. We're at the low end of that trading range now. Right. If the Fed continues to tighten, uh, we believe the dollar will turn back up and these commodities will continue to fall. Kathy Wood said, We believe we are in a recession. Two consecutive quarters of real GDP decline is the beginning of that definition. Although Wood has painted a grim picture, she added that the U.S. economy could also be turning the page and heading out of a recession as soon as next year. We are going to be 100% invested in innovation. That's, that's uh, who we are. This is what we're paid to do. This is what we say we are. Um, and we think that innovation is going to be a critical allocation in the years ahead as the world moves rapidly. And it tends to, um, innovation tends to gain traction during tough times. Innovation solves problems. We have so many problems right now. Uh, we've got the supply chain problems, which we're still hearing about. Mm. Uh, we've got energy and food prices up because of uh, the war, really uh, hurting consumer purchasing power. Uh, and so I think better, cheaper, faster, more productive, uh, more efficient, more creative is going to win. That's what innovation is. So yep. uh, we think most por- most asset allocators are short innovation. And I don't mean I don't mean NASDAQ 100. We don't think that's truly disruptive innovation. Uh, we believe that it, our arc is more the the old style uh, NASDAQ than the NASDAQ is today, uh, because that's all we focus. Would also highlighted that there have been talks of layoffs all around. In the U.S., employers announced 32,517 job cuts have happened in June, an increase of 58.8% from the same month last year, according to the Challenger survey. Gee, what I've always said when people have asked us about our, um, our portfolios, I've always said they are intrinsically um, good for the environment, socially good, and uh, you know we, we have a scoring system around governance. So we certainly... Uh, we certainly are focused on doing the right thing, which is what I think uh, ESG is all about. I think it got way out of hand. I think it. I, I think the the misallocation of capital was quite extreme. Um, and I, as I, I do the whole index-based phenomenon, you know the the um, the idea that we should look to the past to. Uh, manage assets for the future just doesn't make any sense to us. So, U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell and U.S. President Joe Biden have both taken shelter behind the U.S. jobs data as they continue to decline the possibility of the U.S. economy being in a recession. Although Kathy Wood believes the U.S. economy is in a recession, she added that the story could change next year. While most economists say that the inverted yield curve points to a recession maybe next year, we believe we'll be coming out of the recession next year, Wood said. If inflation were truly embedded in the system, mm-hmm. 70s style, uh, that would not, as, as the markets uh, were adjusting or would be adjusting for that, that would not be a, a good time because um, interest rates probably would go up uh, a lot. In fact, one of the, the really reassuring um, developments recently has been the drop in in long-term interest rates, the 10-year Treasury yield back to closing in on uh, 275. It has not been able to uh, maintain anything uh, above 3% for very long at all. So the bond market is is basically saying, no, this is a very good time for innovation. However, if it reversed and went the other way, uh, that, that would be bad. If our outlook for deflation is correct. Cyclical deflation and secular deflation. Secular deflation associated with technologically enabled innovations. That's a good deflation. That's not a bad deflation. Uh, If those two are correct, uh, that, that would be the best environment, I think. Despite sounding the alarm bell on the economy, Kathy Wood said her ARK ETFs would stay fully invested. Wood added that the innovation theme that ARK follows 
would do well in tough times as it solves problems. We'll stay 100% invested in innovation. That's who we are, and this is what we came to do. We think innovation is a critical allocation as the world moves rapidly, she added. So do you agree with Kathy Wood that we are in an inventory recession? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video, and thanks so much for watching.